come again to today's tutorial and today we'll be discussing physics and not mathematics and today on that physics we'll be discussing pressure in liquid first we all know that pressure is the force per unit area acting on the surface of a liquid or any surface now to get pressure of a liquid or pressure in liquid let's assume this is a perfect cylinder now, if this is a cylinder, then this should be the height of the cylinder. Now imagine that this is a bucket and under it is flat. So we call it the area of this cylinder. But before we continue, let's take note that volume is equal to length times base times height. Now a basic mathematics. Um, we should take note that area is equal to length times that is to say, instead of me to put length times breadth, I can decide to write volume as area times height. Let's take note of this. That is to say, I can say volume of this here is equal to area times height. Let's pull our density. Now we are going to be we are going to define another terms. That is to say, we are going to define mass mass of this cylinder. Now we know that on a normal load, density density is equal to mass per unit volume. Now we are going to make mass the subject of formula. At this case, our mass will then be density density times volume is equal to mass. So the mass of this cylinder here will be equal to density times volume. So one more thing we need to define before we continue, we have to define the weight of water in this cylinder. And in normal, we know that weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. And note that from here we have gotten our mass to be density times volume. That is to say weight will then be density times volume times acceleration due to gravity. But still we are not going to stop at this point. We know that volume is equal to area times height. Then I'm going to say finally the weight of water in the cylinder is equal to density times this volume since it is this times area times height times acceleration due to gravity that is the gravity of this now let's take this also for pressure now to define the actual pressure of a liquid actually this will be to define it it is weight of water in the cylinder over the area of the cylinder. Now from here we know that the weight of this is density times area times height times g and the all over area. And this area here we cancel this area and finally pressure is equal to density times the height and times the constant g. So that's how we derive the formula for pressure in liquid. I will be solving two questions or more questions from my past questions concerning pressure in liquid. So these following examples based on the first equation we derive on pressure. The first question says calculate the pressure of water at the bottom of 200 meter deep. If the density of the water is 1,000 kilometer kilogram meter per meter cube, sorry, taking g as 10 meter per second. Now to solve this, we initially know that our pressure is equal to the density times height times the constant g. The first thing we need to do in solving a previous question is to take our data. Now, the data given to us here, we have our density. Our density is a constant, the density of water is 1,000 kg per meter cube. 
Now, the height given to us in this question is 200 meter. I'm having 200 meter. And now, the g as a constant is 10 meter per second squared. Plus 10 meter per second squared. Now, applying this formula, we have g times h times rho times h times g. That is, this will be 1000 times 10 to the power 10 times 10. If you press this over here, finally we have P, which is present to be 2 times 10 to the power 6 Newton per meter square. Now, to solve the second question. We have been in the question that a tank, a water tank of cross-sectional area 2.5 meters square and height of 3 meters contain 5.0 meter cube of water. If the density of water is 10 raised to the power 3 kilograms per meter cube, find the force on the base of the tank taking our g as a constant 10 meter per second square. So this is as simple as the first one. So the first thing we need to do for question number two, we define pressure. Now let's take all what we are giving here. Note, we have to look for force. But in our initial formula for pressure, we don't have force here. So this is what we simply do. We know that pressure is equal to density times height times g as a constant but also pressure is the same as force over area and we will equate this to force per unit area now making f subject of formula we have the force is equal to area times density times height times g so this is the formula we are going to use to solve the second question. And let's take our data. We are giving our area to be 2.5 meter square. Our density is 10 to the 3 kilogram per meter cube. The height, we are going to discover that data and the acceleration. The gravity as a constant g is equal to 10 meter per second square. Now, the reason I didn't write the height here because it talks about the height radius and the height that contains 5 meter cube. So it's a it's a technical question that we need to watch out for and I will explain what it means. So for now, let's just put 3 here per se. Now, let's solve. We have our area to be 2.5. Now, to look for the height. Remember initially I told us that volume is equal to length times B times height. Right? So also I told you that volume is equal to length times breadth is equal to area, area times height. So from here we are going to make height subject of formula. That is, the height is equal to the volume over area. Now, the volume we have been given here, we have been the volume we need to take the as 5.0 meter cube. Now, I'm having 5.0 over the area being given to us is 2, 2.5. That is to say, our height will be equal to 2.0 meters. Now, we have gotten our height to be equal to 2.0 meters. That's why I didn't want to write it initially. Now, let's apply this in our formula. We have it. Force is equal to area times rho times i times g as a constant. Now our area is what? 2.5. Our density is 10 raised to power 3. Now our height is what? Times 2. And our gravity is 
10. So if you press this in your calculator, you're going to have 5 times 10 raised to the power 4, and the unit of force is Newton. So this is how you solve, and all about that is it about pressure of pressure in liquid. So thanks for watching this tutorial. In our subsequent classes, we'll be treating pressure in solid and pressure on its own. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.